Hello and welcome to my course where I teach you how to draw in bite-sized lessons. This is lesson number 13 and we're going to be drawing a scumbled sheep. So we have done the theory part of the scumbling, so I'm going to leave a link up to that for you if you haven't seen that yet. And this is lesson number 13, so if you want to get to lesson number 1, I'm going to leave another link up for you over here and in the description of the class. So let's get drawing. So we'll be drawing this lamb today. I'm drawing on an A5 sheet of paper, which is roughly the half of a letter size paper. So just a nice little quick sketch today. So you can go ahead and sketch out the outlines of the sheep. Just all the, the main outlines. Leave yourself a little bit of a gap on the ears over there for those little white bits. But just all the main little features like this few of these lines over there and where the nose and the eyes and the mouth and the chin are and in the end of the day your outline should look something like that so as for the previous lesson you either want to draw with a nice sharp rounded point a dark lead mechanical pencil I'm personally going to be drawing with a clutch pencil with an 8b lead in it that way I don't have to keep sharpening up the pencil and we're going to be using a figure of eight motion let's get drawing so always start with the eyes because they're nice and dark so i'm going to color them in and just leave a little bit of a, a little bit of a line like that to suggest that there's a, a horizon skyline reflecting in them here, here's some eyelashes, so I'm just going to add a few little lines going over there like that, just so that it's not a solid black. So for this eye, I'm going to do the same. Okay, so you can see this side of the face is light, that side's dark. So I'm going to start on this side over here, and I'm going to just start squiggling. Just to get some tonal value down on the paper, and I'm not pressing hard or anything like that. Just wiggles and squiggles. As you go, you're going to find that you'll get yourself into a little bit of a, a little bit of a groove or a rhythm. So we'll come down here to that center of the of the nose there like that. Okay, let's put in this. Nice and dark over there. Nice and dark over there. And then it just gradually fades a little bit lighter towards the bottom piece as that nose rounds off. It starts off nice and dark. In other words, I'm pressing really hard over here and then just gradually pressing lighter and lighter as I move outwards like that. Here's also just a little bit of skin. There's no hair there, so I'm just going to color that in essentially. Color that in there like that, and then just color in a little bit longer over here, just to make this a bit darker in that area there. Bring that down to here in the center bit, like that, and then just darken up that very center bit, just by going over it a little bit more. Great, let's continue adding our, our texture. Just wiggles and squiggles until we get to this line over here by the eye. So again, that's just a little bit of skin. So I'm just going to color that in over there like that. And as I come down to there, I'll stop. And this area is a little bit darker. So I'll just continue coloring in in this little area a little bit longer. So that there's more graphite over there, and that makes him darker. 
Great. Now we can squiggle over all of that. Your eye is quite dark. You can even squiggle straight over that. It's not a problem. As you draw, just keep turning your pencil. And that keeps your pencil point sharp. Okay, we'll just keep this all the way down to that little line over there and into this little chin, behind the chin over there like that. Okay, here we need this to go a little bit darker. I'm just going to wiggle a few more times over there and that'll get that slightly darker. Here by the mouth, Go nice and dark over there, so you can press reasonably hard here in the center. And then as you come out to the side, just gradually lay off on the pressure. Press hard, lay off on the pressure. And the same as you're coming downwards as well. Start off coloring it in nice by pressing hard, lay off on the pressure. Awesome, now we can just continue wiggling and squiggling. Yeah, that's fine there for now. He's a little bit darker over here, so I'll wiggle and squiggle just one or two small wiggles and squiggles over there, just to darken that up. And then here in this side of the forehead, it's also a little bit darker. So I'm going to wiggle and squiggle there a little bit more. And that seems to go past this little central area till around here. And as we go up, it's getting lighter and lighter. So I'm leaving more and more gaps in between the squiggles and I'm also pressing lighter on the pencil. Same thing happens over here on this edge, just lighter on the pencil. Great, let's move down to the center of this ear. It is really dark over here. So I'm first just gonna color in that little that line over there, so that I know where it is and I don't lose him. Okay, so from here we'll wiggle and squiggle outwards. And from here it's gradually going lighter and lighter. So I'll start off by squiggling really nice and close together. Then as I move away from that line that we drew, then I'm going to just gradually start adding more and more gaps between my squiggles so that there's more and more of the paper visible. Okay, and the same as we come around this side. If you need to, make this even darker so that you don't lose that mark of yours. That line over there when you're adding all this in. Okay, and now can you see that this is lighter than that? So here I need to add more squiggles than what I've got over there. So that I don't lose that little line over there. Yeah, it goes down there like that. Awesome, I think I'm going to make this even darker. So yeah, I know that I've got quite a bit of tonal value there now, so I can press hard on my pencil. Up to this point, we haven't really pressed too hard when we're squiggling. We've just relied on more and more squiggles over each other. Fantastic. So for that outside little edge over there, It's quite light over here, so I'm just going to add one or two very soft little squiggles, making sure that I can still see this little inside line over here. So if you need to add more squiggles in that area so that you don't lose that. As we get to here, it becomes sort of a lost 
same, almost the same colour as that over there. Over here is darker as well. So I add more squiggles over here to make sure that that stays darker than these few little light squiggles that I'm adding over here. So that you don't lose that line of yours. not visible that means you haven't got this dark enough here yet just continue adding more darks by adding more and more squiggles there we go can you see we've now got ourselves a little halo around that ear with a the lighter hairs. Alright, I'm going to just add a little bit more squiggles here on mine. It's not quite full enough there yet. Great, let's move around to this side. So now we've got some shading to do. It's really light over there, right? So in the here, where it's really light, we're not going to add any squiggles. We're going to come back in. And uh, as we go from here, this darker part of the forehead it's gradually getting lighter so I'm adding less and less squiggles and I'm pressing really light on the pencil as well so that those squiggles appear lighter and less and less towards this edge over here which is essentially as good as nothing All right, there's that little inside piece similar to what we had over there So I'm just going to gently color that in. Right, so let's get these squiggles coming down here. A few little squiggles over here, very far apart, a very few of them. Nothing in that little central area over there. It's too bright there. Good, coming down from here. This part of the cheek there's a little bit of tonal value so just a few little squiggles and those squiggles come down over here until they meet the mouth like that see there and then here this little tip underneath the nose the top lip it's a little darker here in the center and then it quickly fades out so just a few little squiggles don't overdo those squiggles over there That's good. Let's move yet all underneath the chin. It's quite dark, eh? Hey? Really is quite dark. So I'll just keep squiggling over here in this darkest area. Nice and close, tight and tight squiggles. And as we move outwards, gradually adding less and less until it's roughly that same tonal value as what we've got over there, down over here. So we sort of lose that where the face and the neck meet a little bit in that area. Here we can still see it. So there, you keep these little squiggles tighter to each other. Much closer and closer. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let's give ourselves a bit of a tonal value over there. So I'm going to start off over here. Here next to the eye, it's a little bit darker, so I'm going to squiggle close to each other to get that little darker tonal value over there. And there with the ear, it's that little bit darker. And it comes down like this. Sort of like that. And that is also darker than this piece over here. So I'll start off over there by that, to form that line where those two meet. Sort of the side of the face the neck. I'll just keep squiggling, squiggling. I'm not pressing hard on the pencil. I'm just letting the the pencil cover more or less of the of the paper. I think we can go a little bit darker over here. That gap between the, the 
side of the face, the cheek and the mouth area itself. Not quite standing out enough on mine. Just a little bit darker there. Not too much. Don't overdo it. Great. Now here for the where the body starts, it's even darker than that. So I'm going to just wiggle and squiggle till I've got myself a bit of a a contrast over there so I can see that there's a difference between those two. Then I know I'm good. Great. Now we're going to fill this whole area up here just with basic tonal value. We've got that gap and here it's light so just a few little squiggles so now that we've got that gap over there and here just really rough little squiggles. Remember to keep turning your pencil as you draw because that's sharpening your pencil for you. So don't worry about all those little shadings and stuff in here. All we want to do now is just create the the wool. Just to create that little woolly effect. I'm holding my pencil so light. Look here. Can you see there? It's like literally loose in my hand. I think we can come down around here because we know I've got those two guys. We won't lose where the neck is. Come down and it seems, seems like he's going to end over there somewhere. Very light pressure. Just letting the pencil cover the... Cover the paper. All right. Now we can add some of that texture in over there. So we'll start by this little darker mark that we made. He's, he's our guide. So from there he came down and now I'm holding the pencil a little bit harder in my hand because that will now automatically make me also just press slightly harder inadvertently. Okay, next to him there's a bit of a gap and then there's the next fold in the hair. So just keep adding a little bit more squiggles over there. As you move towards the right, just more and more gaps. This one of you is not quite as dark, so I'm just going to add a few little extra squiggles just to lightly darken that up. And the same with this guy over here. He's got a few little darker patches, but he's not as dark as that one over there, so I can't fill up as much of the paper. Just little bits. Are you starting to get a feel for the scumbling yet? It's fun, eh? It's really nice and easy, and it's quite relaxing. Okay, we fill a fuller up over here. So here on the photograph, there is just that little bit of a, a sheep in front, but I'm going to ignore that and just continue the same tonal value, this darker tonal value, all the way down to the bottom of that little line that we created there for ourselves, where the drawing ends. Okay, that ends. It goes a little bit lighter to here, so I'm going to stop squiggling in this area. Now as we come to this side, is in the sun, so I'm going to just less and less like that. So here's just a little bit of texture, but lots of gaps. Lots of gaps. We don't want this dark whatsoever. See there, just a few little squiggles. And then up here, there's one fold over there. So we'll add just a few more little squiggles in there, just to indicate... that guy over there. Same on this side of the face, just a few little squiggles over there. Now, let's take this and just gradually fade him out. So, take those squiggles of yours and make them lighter and lighter and further apart. There's another little line of squiggles, further apart, make him stop. He has a little bit more darker in this area over here than there. So I'm adding just a little bit of squiggles. 
There's a little darker line over there, so we'll add a few little squiggles for him in. Why not? Starting to see your sheep already, eh? Fabulous. Great. So for this ear, he's dark in this ear over here, like sort of something like that. And then there's that little tag over there. So I'll just draw that tag, just so that we know where to squiggle around. We start here with the dark bit. It's always safer to start with the dark bit. Because then you can't uh, accidentally go too dark. Okay, that's there like that. Okay, let's color in the rest of the ear with our squiggles. Let's get some tonal value down there. Keep turning that pencil to keep him nice and sharp. And see how thin my lines have stayed by using the, the clutch pencil and by turning my my pencil in my hand as I draw the whole time. Fantastic. Yeah, we've got a nice contrast over there, right? So I'm going to squiggle it down almost in a bit of a line over there to really make sure that you can see that contrast between the one and the other. It's distinctly lighter on the face because he's catching that beautiful sunlight. Great, we're nearly done filling in this guy with his tonal value. It's looking good, eh? So if you need to, just darken up this little central, er central area. So if you need to, just darken up this little central area a bit more. If it's gone too, too dark on yours. And now for that outside edge of the hair. So just very light pressure. Small little wiggles and squiggles further apart. Just like that. If you've lost your shape, just keep squiggling then on the inside bit, because that means it's not dark enough yet. That's all. Okay, and that tag of ours is also a little bit darker. But him, I think I'll just color in. Like that. And then just add a little circle over there where he's attached. Just to show where he's attached. Great. Yeah, we still need to just add a little bit more tonal value over here. So all you need to do now at this point is just look over your sheep and see where do you need to just fiddle with some more tonal value. So I'm just adding slightly more tonal value over here. Just to really bring out that that side of the face to show that there's the nose, and that side goes downwards away from us. That's why he's lighter, and he's gradually getting darker over there. And the same over here. We need to get that little rounding on the face. So just add a few little extra squiggles over there. There's a few little extra squiggles over there as it comes around. by the top lip and the bottom jaw. That gives us that gap over there. Yeah, and just like that, I'll, I would call our drawing finished. So I hope you enjoyed drawing the sheep with me. In the next lesson, we're going to be taking a look at scribbling, how to draw using scribbling. So that's an add-on to the scumbling technique. There's more little techniques that we use with scribbling including scumbling. So I think you're going to really enjoy that. I'm going to leave a link to that for you over here. If you have enjoyed this lesson, please like and subscribe so I can inform you when I release the next course module. I've also left a link to my website here where you can find hundreds of real-time draw and paint along lessons. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.